Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Civilization VI, playing as Molly. Uh, we discovered, or we noticed at the end of the last episode, that Harold over here has a ridiculous amount of military strength, and he's not that far away. So, we are going to want to buy some units pretty quickly. Uh, we will wait for the Saguba to get dropped down, because, obviously, as Molly, we do get... Um, Let's see, units, buildings, districts are all 20% cheaper to purchase with gold and faith in the city once the Sugiba goes down. So three more turns. Hopefully we can wait three more turns. I think we can. I mean, he's not noticeably close right this second, so we should be okay in the long run. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and remove the woods. I think I'm okay with this tile. It's going to give me three deserts. I could have moved it one more over this way, but I want it closer here so I can put this stuff down. Although, I guess I could have put a city over here for that. This is going to be fine. We're still going to have room to put cities over here and three adjacent. Excuse me, sorry about that. I had a cough in my throat. Uh, three adjacency is uh, is going to be okay. Um, I mean, we could go ahead and just immediately go for the Saguba. That doesn't mean we'd have to buy some stuff, which does cost us, you know, in general. Um, like it would cost us to get the tiles up that way. You know what? Let's get the monument so we can then expand a little bit quicker get to those tiles a little quicker maybe although we're probably gonna have to buy up our way up to those because i don't think it'll automatically expand out that way based on the, the rules that it uses we definitely want to get over here to get some of this iron for sure um so that's probably gonna be our next city here in a little bit all right um like i don't really you can just ignore him for now don't don't bother with him at the moment. This guy, though, I do want you to upgrade to an archer. That is going to help our military presence a smidge. Although, you know, I, I think it counts your melee strength. So I think, you know, the fact that we have two archers is going to make that look a little bit worse than it probably actually is. Uh, we definitely are going to hook up this mine. Six gold from that tile. Pretty awesome. Um, let's just see what else is up here. There's some decent stuff up here. Some more deserts. Not too bad. Should be able to put a pretty decent city up that way. Uh, no, I'm not going to give you any iron or horses because it's going to make you even stronger. Despite the fact that you have jade. whoop you doo Nope. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Looks like he is flipping the city over here pretty quickly. Poor Maori. Um, let's go ahead and just get all the mines out as soon as we can. I kind of want to see him coming. So I'm going to kind of sneak out here a little bit. A lot of mountains up here. So, I mean, we really only have to worry about attack from this side over here, which is good to know. You're still going up that way. That's fine. We do have the archer in this city, which is okay. And just kind of st stretch some stuff across this way. We should be okay. Oh, what did I get? Oh, got our Saguba. Perfect. I don't believe in a and we got the ability to build the holy sites. The only one who knows you're afraid. Cool. Um, I think Barbarian's going to be a little bit less of a worry. Wrong button. Um, although we're going to be buying units more than building them, I think. Could take the unit maintenance. I mean, I'm not too worried about gold, but obviously more gold helps us buy more units. We obviously don't need the builders right now. We've only got one trade route. Reduce the cost of purchasing tiles would help us get our Saguba in this city a little quicker. With a little bit less money, I guess. Let's actually drop that in. And, I mean, I do want to have the money to buy the, or to, to build buy the units pretty pretty quickly here. But, I mean, this is only going to take us a couple turns worth of stuff. And it will allow us to go ahead and start working on our Saguba right away, which I think is very critical. Getting our Sagubas down, it's going to make everything else just start falling in place pretty easily. Um... I mean, do we even need this? I don't know if we even need irrigation, to be honest. Water mill. I mean, a little bit more food could be useful. Plus, we might we might need the heavy chariots. Let's go and work on that. Obviously, heavy chariots are the lower unit for our unique unit that we can upgrade to. Or upgrade from, I should say. So that would probably be pretty solid. 
Oh, I'm surprised we haven't met more city states. We've only met two, huh? Interesting. Alrighty, so now we can start doing some stuff. Obviously, we can purchase things with gold. We don't have quite enough gold right this second. We are making a pretty good amount of gold, though. Um, we do want to get the market as soon as possible. I'm going to go ahead and get the builder out, though. There's a few things I think I can go ahead and hook up. Uh, I think I'm going to continue on Raina for right now. I would really like to get her up to contract and start handing her around to different places to take advantage of that. Extra gold for each unimproved feature. More gold, more better. So I think that's okay. I don't usually do that. Usually I spread it around a little bit more in the initial, um, but I think, I think, you know, let's do it a little bit different this time. This is just grasslands. So there's really no defensive bonus here. I might move you up to this forest and just sit you there. A little bit more. Oh, there we go. There's something we can go after. Um, I might want to go ahead and buy these tiles while I have them discounted. More trade routes soon. Uh, let's just go ahead and focus on gold in all my cities, honestly. Um, uh, unless it stops them from growing, I guess. I'll do both gold and food in that city. I, don't, I think it just puts it back to what it was at default. If it stops them from growing, I won't do it. But I just want to make sure all these cities are... Focus on getting as much gold as possible. All right, you're going to chill. I might, I'll move you in once this guy moves up to be able to start shooting at him. Um, let's go and do another mine or just go and do... I probably need to get the farm out. Get a little bit of housing. It's only half a house, though. I need another farm to be able to get anything else out of that. But let's start with that. All right. More gold. More better. Plus some culture. I still think this is probably the best bet. Could move you down to here to get more of a road. And actually, I think I will do that. All right. Next turn, I'll move you up. Because I want to take at least one shot before I move this guy in there. Uh, horses up there. They're not so great. Probably just grab that and get out of dodge. They can't come through here because of the mountains. So yeah, just kind of leave those guys to their own devices. All right, so you should be able to... Oh, so we don't get the culture from this route. Still, I do want the roads kind of up through here. It's going to give at least Timbuktu kind of a little bit of a road through here. Not ideal, but I guess it's going to be okay. Oh, you came out to meet me. Well, hello there, sir. Um, I don't want to do that. I'm just actually going to fortify. If you want to attack him, that's fine. If you want to attack him, that's fine as well. Across the mountains, or across the river. Although I am in marsh, so I think that actually negates some of that penalty. All right, I'm okay with moving you up and taking this attack. I like it. All right, so like I said, I do want to go ahead and grab some of these tiles here in a moment. I guess I don't need to grab them right this second, but before I swap off of uh, the current Civic, I will want to, to grab those tiles. All righty. Uh, we got a little bit of faith. I mean, eh, it's fine. Faith is part of our, our engine. Um, but really, that wasn't that much faith, because we get that much in two turns. I guess that wasn't that much gold either, though, from this guy over here. All is well. Um, let's just move you back down to Timbuktu for now, and then we'll worry about figuring out where you want to go from there. Four gold per turn for my 19th. Probably, yeah, why not? I'll take your gold. I mean, favor at some point is completely useful. I mean, it's very useful at some point, but right this second? No, I'm, I'm fine with giving some favor up. All right, again, I think I still want to get you down here to this forest. Get a little bit of spotting in case. Nor uh, Norway. Norway, right? I'm not being dumb. <laughs> yeah, Norway. I don't know why I was thinking. What is it? It's um, 
Is it Norway in uh, Civ Five as well? For some reason, I just mind blanked it. I was thinking it was a. Uh, what is it? I thought that I think it's something else in Civ Five or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I knew it was Norway, but I just second guessed myself. The Vikings. So I want to get a city here. Still can probably get at least two cities over here in some pretty useful spots. Uh, how many tiles do we have that are unworked? I mean, we're getting gold from the unworked tiles, so I don't feel as much pressure to work them right the second. I mean, we would get four gold from this tile and this tile. Uh, not this tile, but we would get four gold from this tile. So that one might be a really good one for us to drop down, especially since we would get a little bit of uh, production in that capital city. So that one might, might at least be worthwhile to do. Um, in fact, what I probably will do... Oh, well, that's right. We can buy the market with faith. I forgot about that. Oh, God, about that. Um... Yeah, absolutely. Please do. Should have done that already. And I am going to buy the trader. The sooner we get that up and running, the sooner we get it pays for itself. And then I do want to drop down. What do we need for holy sites? Four or greater. 14 turns. So to get that, getting a granary would help us out with that. I mean, I could wait to buy it. We'll just go ahead and build the granaries, whatever. Eight turns, it'll speed things up a smidge. And I think that'll help a lot. All right, so Builder, you're going to come over here. You are going to actually help. That's right, you're going to help over, help rush out that granary, which is going to be very useful. All right, so you want to move into that tile. Just to get us a little bit of spotting. Sometimes the wheel turns slowly. I mean, one archer is not going to do much, to be fair. Uh, we do have iron, so we can get some swordmen. I don't feel an urgent need to get sailing right this second. We don't have a city on the coast yet. Let's go ahead and get iron working. Um, one of our cities over here might be on the coast. I do want to get more settlers here soon. Yeah, I think this is fine. A little bit of culture, a lot of gold. So we are starting to rake in some pretty good gold. 53 gold per turn at turn 71. Pretty good. And, and obviously it'll just continue to grow very quickly very you know, as we go. So we definitely want to get the mine here. Basically, we lose one production to gain, what, two gold? Because we already had two gold there. But I still think it's worthwhile in the long run. All right, so you're going to go ahead and go on alert. And another Suguba going there. Two more, three more turns for the Suguba there. You actually are already at four pops, so you can actually already go ahead and get your holy site. You're actually going to be out four pop before this guy is. How is Niani our slowest? Now, I know this one's pretty fast because even though it has terrible housing, it's got great, uh, great food production. Uh, we definitely want to get your market with that. And then we would love to buy the trader here as well. And then we do want to start working on your holy site. And yours was C2 right here. Six. Faith. That is a ridiculous amount of faith. So that is very much worth it. Plus, that's going to help these two Sagubas right away. All right. Um, what else was I going to do with you? Probably move you down here. Help the city out a little bit. Oh, of course, actually, another farm over here would be useful. Let's get you over here. Get you another farm because that gives you another full house. Because right now you have four and a half houses. It's not going to be a huge boost, but it's it's a start. Alrighty. Ten gold and two culture per turn. Yes, please. 71 gold per turn. Yep, yep, yep. We're, we are starting to get things rolling. Oh my goodness. Norway has a ridiculously large amount of territory. Hello, Norway. All right. We definitely need to get some more units just out here just to defend and be ready to do what they need to do. Um, so completed our granary. Still need four more turns to get enough people for that. I mean, do we slow build a unit while also maybe buying some units along the way? Water mill would get me a little bit more food. Not a ton, but more food, more better, more growth. Obviously, we need more culture at some point. 
again, obviously, we can also buy a lot of these things. That's the big. That's the big thing. You can't buy everything. Well, okay, you could wait and buy everything, but you still got to produce something. I mean, you got to spend your time doing some production. Um, we could just do commercial hub investment over and over and over again, I suppose, and just use that money for. Um, like, okay, we're at seventy two point four, and I forget what percentage of this it is converting your production into gold. Seventy two point four. Let's do one tick just to see what it does. I can't remember what it does per turn. I don't think it's a ton, um, but, you know, it's always an option. 190, so we're a little ways away from that. Um, let's go and get the monument. It's fine. Let's go and put you on auto explore. It's okay. That is a t oh, that's right. You took his cities. Wow. That's how you got so big. Now we definitely need to get some more units. Make ourselves look at least a little bit more intimidating. Oh no, classical era ends soon. We are still a long ways away from the 41 that we need. Huh. We may not be, may not be getting golden ages as quickly as I would have liked. Alright, so this gets us a little bit more housing in the city at least. Helps it grow a little bit more. Um, so we are getting what? 3.3 3. 3 is actually not bad. I mean, compared to the 70-something that we were getting, it's not amazing. But 3.3 3 just in general, it's not terrible. Um, if we were to... Okay, let's math that out for a second. 3.3 3 gold, and we wanted to buy... Let's say we wanted to buy a monument. I wish there was something that was 330 gold, because that would be a lot easier for me to do the math. Um, is there something that's half of that, like 160? Here we go. Trader, 165. That's about half, right? That's exactly half. Um, so we could buy a trader in... So 3.3 .3 gold would get us to... would take us 100 turns. So in 50 turns, we could buy a trader at 3.3 .3 gold. Or we could produce a trader in... Nine. Yeah, so that's... Okay, so the gold is still not better than just producing stuff. Um, other than the fact that it does also get us... Uh, great Merchant Points, which, obviously, Great Merchant Points are huge for us. I mean, we're going to already be getting a ton of Great Merchant Points, but... I don't know. Let's go ahead and let that one finish. Seven turns. Why not? Um, but after that, we might do some other stuff with it, because, obviously, 3.3 .3 is not a ton compared to what we're currently making. But it's still a decent amount. Classical Era ends in eight turns. So we're not going to get another Golden Age. Wow. Uh -huh. I mean, we might have been able to get the Golden Age, maybe, had we stayed in the Dark Age previously, because we would have gotten um, some, uh, a few points here and there for a few things that we did. Obviously, the Suzerain and stuff like that would have gotten us a few points. Uh, we might have been able to squeeze out a few more of these bonuses, although, I don't know, we don't really have any quarries, we don't have any pastures we can get. City on the coast, we probably could have rushed. Nothing else really jumps out at me as things that we could have gotten right this second, though. That's all right. We'll get the Golden Ages one as soon as we can. We'll get there. Ah, there's an error score. Divide and rule a sound motto. All right, so government unlocked. We never got the extra uh, city-state, but honestly, we really can't wait for the government for that. Yields, production towards wonders, uh, extra housing and amenities. That's actually pretty helpful for us. I think we'll grab that one. More great people points, plus the housing and amenities. I mean, housing is obviously really useful for some of our cities right this second. Um, oh, I still wanted to purchase some, a couple more tiles real quick. I do think the gold from the trade routes is starting to become useful. We've got several of those out now. Let's go and get great scientist points. Why not? I mean, I don't know if we'll ever really get a ton of great scientists, but it's always nice to have them when we can. Um... We're probably going to see some more city-states soon that we can send that first envoy to to get some bonuses. So we'll go with that for now. I think this looks okay. 90 gold per turn. <laughs> 90 gold per turn. Not half bad. All right, you're actually stable. Like, you're not dead dead. So I feel a little bit more more comfortable being friends with you. I was afraid you were about to die when I, when you, you know, I saw that it was available earlier. Really should start making some units. Although I think once we get the iron, the swordmen, we might pop out a couple of those. 
I mean, are we going to get a wonder anytime soon? Probably not. I'll just work on one of these. We might swap over and just still see if we can get a bonus. I'm going to move you up here somewhere just to be a little more front facing. The Lord made us all out of iron. Then he turns up the heat. Jebel Barkal is pretty good. Um, I mean, a lot of a lot of faith. We're basically trading some gold for a lot of faith, and of course, a lot of iron, which we don't really need to iron because we're already getting tons of iron as it is. But I mean, you can't go wrong with more, I suppose. I don't really think we need this like really at all. I mean, maybe eventually, but this doesn't feel necessary right now. Walls might be useful. Even if we don't have the quarry. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that, I guess. Don't really have any ways to get a quarry, do we? Need some more builders. I'd like to hook up the uh, mercury that we have available. Oh, we're up to four here. Uh, we'll let that finish, then we'll do the holy site. But I do want to go ahead and buy the tiles. So this one's city ones. How much is this one? Yep, 88, same thing. So we'll go ahead and buy these tiles, get that done with. And that way we can go ahead and pop those down wherever we feel like it. Yeah, if we had at least 350 military strength right now, I would feel much better about our current situation. How much would it cost us to buy a swordman? 285 is not terrible. Probably a couple swordmen and a couple of heavy chariots, and I would feel pretty comfortable with our current situation. Maybe just, actually, maybe one heavy chariot, maybe a couple spearmen, something like that. Still nine turns away. I mean, I could have saved the swordman, which got us some uh, error score for later, but I really want to make sure we're kind of getting a little bit of a defense here. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade you. Just, just to have it. Um, I'll move you there. I'll move you to there for now. Oh, never mind. Just move you there for now. You're still up there just spotting for the moment, which is okay. Eventually, I will move you back. Nope. Uh, no. I mean, you're my friend, but... And I don't really worry about you having the extra resources, but no. We do need to get us another settler. How much is it going to cost us to get a settler? Probably we prefer it out of this city because of the fact that it's got a little bit better growth. Market's 190. We're almost there for that. Settler would be 445. Eh, we'll get there. Um, just 45 for now. We're actually about to get us our very first merchant, which is going to get us an extra trade route. That is pretty awesome. Yes, please. This is a good one for us. All right. Um, we definitely want to get our holy site down as soon as possible. So City 1's holy site is going to go right there. Get rid of you. Uh, we can get rid of you because you're already being built. And I mean, we know that one's there, but I'll just leave it for now. Um, and what is it you give us? Increased trade route, trade route capacity. Foreign trade routes to this city provide plus two gold to both cities. Um, I mean, it's more likely that this city's going to get them. Uh, this city might still get some, honestly. We'll go ahead and do it here. It's going to be okay. Mostly the trade route capacity is really what I care about. In fact, we will go ahead and immediately follow that up with buying us a trader. The sooner we buy it, the better. So Games and Rec is ready. I mean, we're going to have to finish one of those the hard way, I think. Well, hello, Arabia. Our fellow desert dweller. You actually do have a... Uh, well, that's not desert, is it? That's plains, isn't it? Anyway, still need at least one city over here, 
two. I might even be able to squeeze three cities over here, but we definitely need some more cities. Got to get the settlers out here soon. All right, so you're going to fortify for now. Um... I mean, do I just save up to be able to buy another settler? I feel like we have to. I feel like we have to. Okay. Nine gold, science and faith. I actually like that a lot. Probably the best thing we can do. Medieval fair is really awesome. Do we want to swap off masonry? I, I kind of feel like we need the walls just to give us a little bit of extra protection against Norway. Of course, more units is also very good. I mean, we're just not going to get a quarry anyway, right? Like, let's, yeah, let's just finish that. That's fine. There's nowhere for us to get a quarry. I don't, at least I don't see it. So that's going to be okay. Jebel Barca has been finished. I mean, it would have been cool. I mean, it would have given us a lot of faith. Not the absolute end of the world. Would have been nice, though. All right, come on. Let's see if we can get it this time. Ah, that one would have actually gotten us quite a bit, to be fair. We are still going to build, build at least two more. Possibly a few more after that. Honestly, money mentality might actually be really good for us. Let's go and grab that. I should have grabbed that last time, actually. Because I think one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we would have come very close to getting it last time. I think we would have been one point away and we could have forced that issue had we uh, had I thought about it. That's okay. I'm probably not playing quite as well as I should be. Um, again, it's been a little while. Since I've uh, last played this game, it's not really a good excuse, but it, it's, uh, it's out there. Producing or purchasing military units using chosen currency type is plus 100% the cost until the next World Congress. Um, let's say with gold. And let's put as many points as we can to that because that would be really good for us, although it's unlikely we're going to get it. I don't really care here. We'll just... Whatever. Any, mini miny, mo. Eastern Orthod Orthodoxy. I don't know. Why not? Would be nice to make, our che make units cheaper with gold, because obviously that's really good for us. Uh, nope. It's reduced production. Oh, that's... That's going to be really good for um, for Norway over here, I bet. Uh, they're down to 544, though. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better about the situation. I definitely want to lock in this guy. I mean, we don't need all of this. I guess we can hold off for now because we are still the suzerain. Wonders, buildings, and districts. Although we don't have workshops yet, so this one's not really that critical either. I guess we can hold on to it. Honestly, we don't need to spend it right this second. All right. About to get that finished off. <laughs> We're already on our way to the next great merchant. That's 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 awesome. We're going to be rolling in great merchants like crazy. You want horses. I don't really need horses, to be honest. And I'm not really worried about you. You don't scare me. So why not? Am I getting horses from you? Because I'm not getting horses from myself, obviously. Oh, that must have been a special session. Who's the target? Somebody I don't know, apparently. Uh, no? Wait, am I getting horses for myself? Am I on horses somehow? No. How am I getting horses? From city-states. Where are you getting horses from? You're on horses. Okay. That works. All right. We definitely want to try and purchase you. Yes, we can. That is perfect. We do want to buy the trader. Very good. And we do want to knock out the holy site as soon as possible. Please and thank you. Just get that little triangle just knocked out done. That's going to help us out a lot in the long run. All right, and the next step will be to start getting some settlers, which we can buy 445. So we can buy one here in a moment, which we will do. I still think we're okay to save this one, so I think I'm going to push out this way a little bit. 
with our settler. Probably push up here to get to this iron, actually. All right, walls are available. Build a pasture. Build walls. Three different specialty districts. Yeah, let's work on that a little bit. We'll get there pretty soon, I think. All right. Probably science and faith over food. But more gold, more better. 113 gold. We're, we are starting to cruise pretty good here. Um, let's just go ahead and grab. Because I did want to get at least a heavy chariot to run around, just be available. Oh, I want to get the cellar. What am I doing? Cellar first. I think I was about to grow, but that's all right. I'll grow here in a second. Um, there's some loyalty issues out here, so let me just let me back out of this for a second. Uh, how do we want to do this? Could I fit three more cities for another triangle over here? Would that work? Um, it's not easy without getting rid of some tiles of something. It's possible I could fit one right here. Uh, actually, I could probably fit one right there, right? Which... That'd be like a city up here, a city down here, and a city over here. It's not going to be great on the desert adjacency, maybe. Um, like a city here would be okay. Let me just uh, see here. So yeah, I could put a city here. Still has the ability to put an aqueduct. Then I could put a city over here somewhere and then a city up there. So which city do I want first? I mean, I'm not getting the adjacency to the river for any of this stuff. I mean, I could always move it over one tile, which at least gets two of the Sagubas next to the river. That does get rid of the, the uh, wheat, but not the absolute end of the world. I could put a uh, city over here on this side of the river, which, uh, can I? Let me see. No. I could put a city right there on the rice, not ideal, but would be surrounded by quite a bit of desert, so it should be okay on the food side of things. A little bit of loyalty issues, but I can take care of that. So that would allow me to move at least two Sagubas next to the river. The, ne the last one would be not, but that's okay. So our floodplains, so we would, you know, they would flood eventually you know, over time. Not ideal. In fact, flooding for, for a Mali is pretty frustrating because, yeah, you can buy everything that you want to build, but you can't buy repairs, which is, which is annoying. Um... I mean, I'm kind of liking that. So let's say um, city four, Saguba. Probably city four, holy site. Um, probably city five over here, right? So this city right here, one, two, three, would be able to get these. Still some desert up that way. I, mean, I can still put another city probably way up here somewhere. Um, this is just trying to maximize like another triangle, which, you know, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I think it's, I mean, it's it's fun. It's kind of fun to do stuff like this. So city five, Saguba. Uh, city five, holy site right there. Um, holy site. And then city six, holy site. And city six. So goodbye. What? Oh, oh, hit the wrong button. So then, cities. I would need to put a city based on this. I would need to put a city on this. I mean, I could put it up here further. Uh, I could put it up here. And it would still be able to take advantage of those pretty readily. Right here it would be... One, two, one, two, three deserts. Right here would be three deserts. Right here on this would be four desert. Uses up that 
grassland marsh, but who cares? We're getting a lot more, you know, we're getting one more food from this setup. So that actually would be pretty good, right? Yeah, let's target, let's target that. So we'll just say city four, maybe. Gets me right next to all this stuff up here pretty quickly. Um, city five would need to be down here. Can it be on here? And still make room for, I don't think it can. We would need to move it over here as far as we can or down here or something like that to be able to have enough room for a city over here somewhere for city six. Cause they need to be one, two, three, four actually. City six is the hardest one to get to place, right? Uh, city six could be right here. Only two desert, but it's not terrible. Uh, still, that's far enough away from city four. I would actually like city six to be like right here if it could, but I don't think it can, can it? No. Here would be okay because it's three. One, two, three, four. That would put a city right there, but that's not possible. One, two, three. No. This is not easy. We might need to move city four up a little bit more into the mountains. Still be able to get within reach of this. Two, three. Yeah. Right there is probably where we need city four. Still plenty of desert. Still three tiles of desert, right? Yep. Put city, we can't put city four there, can we? Nope. All right, so let's move this one. I know I'm a little bit over my time, but I kind of want to get this figured out real quick. All right, so this is going to be city four. If I can actually type. So one, two, three, like city five would be probably right here. Or down here. I mean, loyalty would obviously be a huge issue soon, but we could probably figure that out. Oh, there's a Cory spot. C5 could be down here, but then that doesn't really leave room for City 6. 2, 3, 4, City 6, nope. City 6 kind of needs to be like right here, right here. Probably right here. 1, 2, there's really no room for everything, is there? City 6 would have to be like down here then. One, two, three, but that's not far close enough. This is not, this might not be possible, huh? All right, well, let me think about it during the break. Um, obviously, if you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments, but I probably will have it figured out by the time you see this video, the next video anyway, um, or I won't be able to see the comments in time, I should say. But yeah, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.